Hey besties, welcome back to the channel or the Patreon or wherever this may land. I am praying that it is the YouTube because if you guys noticed, it has been a long four months. <laughs> we have a new setup though. Um, this will make it a lot easier for me to do reaction style videos and also live stream. But yeah, I'm back. I was, you know, blocked for saying, talking about some things in the past. It, like old videos from 2020 it doesn't really matter that, that i've talked about it on my vlog channel a little bit in my last vlog you can check that out if you want to i just don't want to get even get into that in this video um but i will at some point talk about it over here too but yeah i missed you guys so much we have been active over on the patreon i'm sorry i know you guys thought i was just like leaving you like high and dry just to be over on patreon and that was not the case at all i literally could not post here so yeah i'm back hopefully um my time is up <laughs> i i did my time so i'm hoping that now this this video should be up and i should be back in the algorithm hopefully i've been good <laughs> um it's hard because now my camera's right here my monitor's over here so i'm like looking at both i'm sorry <laughs> but um i don't know i feel nervous like it's like like this is not even my channel anymore oh my gosh i will also be streaming on twitch um so that's that's the thing yay i have my pc now i have games lined up but we will also be talking about like our regular stuff over there too but like some days we'll just be gaming or some days we'll just be reacting to stuff like just whatever we feel like doing <laughs> um but yeah there's just like a little bit more freedom over there for like what i can say and what i can play on the stream and it's live so we can just chill um so yeah the link for my twitch will be in the description so yeah i'll most likely also be taking um clips from the twitch streams and uploading them like editing them and uploading them here too but yeah so as you can probably tell by the title today we are talking about tiktok's favorite grandpa <laughs> well less talking about it more reacting because i was going to talk about it. i had a video lined up about this but then um i started getting like all these tags on tiktok and like all these mentions and just people dming me and like sending me this link and i was like what's happening like i don't know what this is and it was all the same video like i had seen the title and i was like why is everybody sending me this like what is this so i finally clicked it and i saw that she was reacting to my tiktok that i made about the situation um which will be shown in her video so i don't even have to <laughs> this is kind of like really great like easy way to step into our first video back so yeah um get your wine your water or your rolling tray or whatever you need to tune in with me oh my gosh i haven't said that in so long okay no seriously i miss you guys so much okay let's get into this video <laughs> like who are you to close off earth for legal reasons if any kids are watching you're working out Get into it this is the comment section with brett cooper yeah i actually never even heard of her um like this segment i've heard her name before like on tiktok and different things but like i didn't know about this whole segment that she has like the comment section until i started getting tagged in it so like this is cool yeah so i'm gonna switch over to sharing my screen i also have my josie and the pussycat headphones okay Shh, don't I don't want to hear one beta kitten joke, okay? I just don't, I don't even have time for it today. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So yesterday I filmed an episode about growth and redemption. Obviously there was more to it. We talked about a celebrity, but that was kind of the gist of the episode. It'll come out on President's Day on Monday. So you haven't seen it yet, but we pre-recorded. But I spent that 15 minutes talking about how incredible it is when somebody acknowledges their past choices and takes very intentional strides to better themselves, change their life. And I genuinely do believe that people can change, you know, to an extent and with the right effort and the right intentionality. And while many agree, this has become a very divisive subject on TikTok and it all started with a vlog. We're gonna talk about that today. So a TikToker named Sanai Graydon was filming a vlog when a homeless man came up to her on the street and asked for help. And she kept the camera rolling as she interacted with him and she helped them and she turned it into a longer vlog and she posted it on her channel. And usually I cringe at TikTokers who film themselves giving money to homeless people and doing charitable acts because obviously it is for their own gain and for their own attention. But her initial reaction with this man was only caught because she was already vlogging herself. She was already on camera when he asked for help. So I do believe that this instance was actually very genuine. I'll allow it. Let's just watch this video. Some tea. 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 Some tea. hot tea. Some hot tea. Yeah. Yeah. From 
from where? I'm walking to Trey Joe's. You want to walk with me? Trey Joe's? Yeah. Oh, way up? Yeah. Okay. And we can stop by Starbucks or something. Say hi to my TikTok. Can I get a grande green tea, please? Okay. Here's your green tea. Do you want some napkins? So the CVS we were just at only had one of the medications, but the one he really needs, they don't have it. And he's in pain. He literally cannot walk with me. So I tell him like, stay here. I'm gonna walk to the other CVS and I'm gonna see if they got it. So they had your medicine. So I got your medicine. All right, so we switch. He's gonna push my cart and then I'm gonna take his suitcase. I'm get, he's talking about he gonna go to a church. I said, no, I'm gonna get you a hotel room. But I know all these cars looking like, what the hell do they got going on? <laughs> all right, yo. After an hour, we got Uncle Room. Okay, Uncle, here go your room. Oh, period. Period. Look at Uncle, I done got you a room and everything. You, This is your keys, Uncle. Mm -hmm. I want you to enjoy yourself. Check out 11 o'clock. Here, give me some money. Okay. You got my number, right? Yeah. You gonna be good? I really hate that she's so, in this hotel room with him by herself. Like, oh my too. God, we, it's like- Y'all, TikTok. We spent how many hours together, Unc? Too many. We spend them. We spend them. I, 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 I haven't eaten all day. I'm, I'm hungry, I gotta go back to- She food. didn't eat for like what four days on that? TikTok. Like she was really oh, like running Brown around Street. for this man. Oh Lord. Brown Street. Brown Street. Okay, Brown. so Unc got cancer, y'all. I wanted to help him. It was crazy because I was going to get my groceries delivered and I decided to go on a walk. Mm. And you were so nice. All you asked for was tea. You said, can, can I get some tea? That's so. And then you were so kind. I said, no, I want to do more for him. So I'm glad that you allowed me to help you. You were so kind to me. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can raise. Y'all, TikTok, we need to raise money for Unc, y'all. We need to help Unc out. Seriously. Well, say bye to my TikTok, Unc. Love you. Love you. I just got home. I just spent like four or five hours with him. I haven't eaten all day. I want to start a GoFundMe for him, y'all. Seriously. So hopefully if this ends up on the right people before you page. So spoiler alert, it did end up on the right side of TikTok. It absolutely blew up. People were so excited about this. You know, it all seemed very, very sweet, very genuine, a good soul trying to do something kind for this man. She seems like a wonderful, wonderful person. The immediate response on TikTok was overwhelmingly positive. One girl said, I'm about to cry. Literally all he asked for was tea. And then Sanai said, that's when I knew he was pure and I wanted to help him even more. Somebody else said, I know your family is proud. You have such a pure heart. Somebody else said, bless your heart, girl. That man will probably never forget that. Now, after that first video blew up, I mean, it currently has over 32 million views on TikTok million like that is insane the tiktok community wanted to help this man and as she said in the video she wanted to start a gofundme for him she did that and very quickly they raised hundreds of thousands of dollars i think the fundraiser is currently over four hundred thousand dollars right now like that is life-changing money for any individual now since posting that video sanai has stayed in contact with this man whose name is alonzo but she calls him unk he goes by unk and she's continued to document everything from getting him a wardrobe at target to a new phone medical care for his prostate cancer a hotel room more permanently where he can live for the time being like she has spent countless hours helping this man who she does not know just out of the kindness of her heart she has the support behind her on tiktok people are donating money so that she can do this with more ease i mean this girl is genuinely doing a very very good thing i think she's inspiring a lot of people if here's another update from unk been so lonely though and i laid down and i asked god could you bring my little angel back to me oh his little angel said, bring his little angel back to him she's coming now Aww. And you know what, though? Hmm. I was in that room. I took a shower. And then I filled it. I said, man, Lord, have mercy. For some reason, well, I ain't finished it yet. You want me to finish? I haven't finished it. Finished what? The letter. What letter? The letter that I'm writing you. Writing me a letter? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So you remember yesterday I said I do TikTok unk. He getting yeah. frustrated. So I do TikTok what unk. I'm not really that big on there, but I said you know I'm recording me going to grocery store. I said you want to be my TikTok? TikTok. You, you remember TikTok. no recording? <laughs> I got back to my place and I said let me edit the video so you know I'm doing my video so I can post it. Mm -hmm. So it has been posted for less than 24 hours, mm -hmm. and it has reached over last time I checked 12 million views. Bad, bad, and bad. I think close to 3 million likes. Mm -hmm. And then I made a GoFundMe for you. You did? Yes. 
And I asked people, I said, donate anything that's welcome. Everything will be given to you because I really want to help you. I know you do. And I think the last time I checked, they had raised over $150,000. Shocking thing, ain't it? Shocking thing, ain't it? I know that this is also supposed to be like very sweet and emotional, but them just looking at the camera sitting next to each other, like that's the beginning of some kind of buddy cop comedy. That helmet looks kind of lame. Uh, you know what's not lame? Safety. I don't know how to explain it, but just them looking straight forward, the picture of them together cracks me up. You got more money than me now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's ours. That's out. No, that's yours. <laughs> no, that's ours. No. I don't need it. You do. Me helping you was more than enough. I want you deserve it. What you gonna tell TikTok? Hey TikTok. Hey Sydney. I'm doing good. I'm grateful. She found me again. I feel real good. Yeah, she was on a whole hunt looking for him before this. this. Right here, it ain't such thing. I can defeat anything. And guys, the videos like that, they just kept coming. And people loved him. And from everything that they saw on TikTok, why wouldn't they? Like, he seemed like a very nice old man. He's struggling with cancer. He's receiving help from this amazing young woman. He's thanking God. He obviously, you know, was strong in his faith. There was no reason not to like Unk until information started to come out about this mysterious man. Apparently, he has an incredibly violent past. Here's a headline about this, quote, I'm speechless. Viral TikTok raises $400,000 for DC homeless man with alleged violent past. The man in that viral TikTok video goes by Alonzo. Tonight, I exclusively spoke with a woman who says here in DC years ago when she was homeless, he beat her up and now she's only sharing the harrowing details with Fox 5. The attack was caught on camera and we want to warn you. Caught on camera. To watch. Six minutes long. I'm gonna long. pause the video for a second. I'm gonna describe what's happening here just cause we need to blur this out. But basically the woman is sleeping kind of in an alcove in front of a church. She's laying on her side. This man allegedly, Unc, allegedly Alonzo, he comes up, he straddles her, puts a scarf on top of her face and just keeps punching her. And apparently this went on for six full minutes. I'm speechless. I do not understand how a human being can act like this. He's a sociopath. He does not have a sense of remorse. The victim, who wants to remain anonymous for safety reasons, says she woke up at the hospital not remembering what exactly happened to her. She's sharing these photos of the aftermath. I mean, first of all, kudos to the woman who did this. She meant well, and I do applaud her for that. Uh, I know it was a lot of work for her to do so. But portraying him as something he just simply isn't. Records reveal back in November 2012, Hebron was sentenced to five years in prison for stabbing a man in the neck with a screwdriver during a fight on Queen Street in Northeast DC. The suspect's past also includes other assaults. And let me say right now, I understand that being homeless is not easy and that what you gotta do to survive on the streets, whatever. But I do know that he was caught on camera doing what he was doing to that woman for six whole minutes while she was asleep. So, some robberies. According to DC courts, Hebron was released to a halfway house last year in June 2023. He escaped and then was returned by the U.S. Marshal Service. It's not clear when he was released. And one thing to note after watching this video is that we don't see Unk's face in that video. We don't see the perp's face while this but person, he admitted this to man it is punching this in front of the judge straight so. obviously she had bruises she went to the hospital now one thing that's not totally clear is and not only did he admit to it he asked for her forgiveness so like this is all on the record so it was just like crazy to me that people were just overlooking these things oh but we don't know it was him we do know it was him and he did the time for it he admitted it like just the same way we don't know what people got to do to survive in the street you don't know these people you don't know how why they are on the street either like some people just aren't great people and their families get tired of them and they send them out to go fend for themselves and that's what happens and i'm not saying always because i know that's not always the case but some people y'all have to understand just because the story touches your heart some people just really aren't good people. Whether he was actually charged for this crime, there was a DC police report about this. You know, it happened, but I don't know if he was specifically listed in that report or if they found him. In the article, they talk about him living in a halfway house. He was released to a halfway house. So obviously he was somewhere. Then he escaped the halfway house. I think they brought him back. He might've escaped again. Then we have found ourselves here. He is back on the streets. But we do know 
is that he does actually have a violent past. At least back in 2012, he was committing crimes. He stabbed a man with a screwdriver. Now, after learning all of this, people were immediately concerned about what would happen to the over $400,000 that was raised for Alonzo. Some people started donating even more to contribute to his rehabilitation and his health. Others were angry. They felt lied to. They wanted their money back. Somebody commented and said, refund all of it. He should still be in jail. Somebody else said, beating an innocent woman to almost death for no reason can be redeemed. Absolutely not. Somebody on TikTok said, when I saw her in the hotel with him, I was scared for Nye. I was trying to keep just a normal face for you guys as we were watching those first videos because obviously what she is doing is incredible and she was trying to be very helpful. But just as a woman and as somebody who knows what goes on on the streets, I've talked about this before, but my brother was homeless for a few years. It's not a nice place. It is a very, very dangerous place. A lot of these people are very, very dangerous individuals. They are nefarious individuals. And seeing her in the hotel room, seeing her in the car, just like every time he would just kind of look at her, I was just like, oh my gosh. And maybe that's not right, but also that's just kind of the reality of what happens on the streets. So I was also very scared. I wanted to keep a blank face for you guys so that you might be surprised by the story, but I don't know. Somebody else commented and said, I'm so happy that Nye is safe because she's been with him every single day. Now, for most of TikTok though, the tone is very different. There are not many voices criticizing Alonzo or even pointing out his past. I mean, the first video that I saw about the story is not even up on TikTok anymore. And I think it's probably because she shared the whole story of TikTok's favorite uncle, and she was already getting attacked in the comments, and she had only posted the video like 20 minutes prior. But anyway, some people did start posting about this new development, and this particular take is interesting because of what she says at the end. So let's watch. Okay, so I'm sure by now everybody has That's heard me. about Nye and Unk and her vlog and the viral good deed that she did and raising him the money on GoFundMe. And that was out the kindness of her heart. He didn't ask for any money. He didn't, all he asked for was tea, and everything transpired after that, right? So she raised $400,000 for him on GoFundMe. The story ended up going viral and it reached the news. So while it's being talked about on the news, a woman comes out and says, Can we just talk about how every single time one of my TikToks have to go viral? I have to look like that? Like every time I always look like one of the crazy conspiracy, conspiracy theorists that like, like I, I know I look like I use pins and hang them on my wall. Like I look like a crazy person every single time. Like none of my TikToks where I'm all like, you know, like made up like the Doja Cat video that got 6 million views on TikTok. And for whatever reason, I looked crazy. I was in my baby lock stage. I was just in my house, just wanted to say something. Anyway, sorry. As this guy's actually a serial abuser. He did this to me and it was caught on camera. She also said that she thought it was a great thing that Nye did, but she just wanted people to know that he's not the man that he's being portrayed as. Y'all don't know this man. That's a very important point. Like social media latches on to these people who we literally do not know. We see them through a screen, we have no idea, but I mean, people just sink their teeth in and they create this idea in their head and oftentimes it goes south because that's just reality of the world. So I do think that part of it is a bit weird. And I do think it's possible to be the hero in one story and the villain in another. Like it, the two don't cancel each other out. In our story right now, we're watching the vlog, it's touching our hearts and we're seeing Nye and Unk and that's all we're seeing and people are being blinded. But in her story, this is a man who attacked her while she was asleep and homeless and cold, like, come on. And what's crazy to me is so many people coming out saying, oh, why oh, is she speaking up it. now? Why is she saying something now? If this happened in 2020, why does she want to talk about it now? Because it's viral now. Also, it wasn't like she never reported this or talked about it and hit it. And, and let me say, because a lot of people are trying to come at me saying, oh, it's viral now. Not like, oh, she came out because it's viral now, but because it's viral, it was able to reach her and she was able to see it. If it would have just stayed on TikTok and maybe not reached the news, she probably wouldn't have seen it because she's also not in the best predicament. So she does probably doesn't have, you know, social media to be checking to see what's going on on there. So because it went so viral and then now it's on the news, you're trying to give this clear psychopath $400,000 no, I'm gonna step up too. Hello, this man is not who you think he is. I don't know what's wrong with people. Suddenly come out and made up the story. There is a police report. She was in the hospital. There are photos. He is on video punching her for six minutes. She's just a random woman, used to be homeless. She yeah, doesn't have a platform. She's not homeless this anymore, was the only but she still probably, she probably doesn't have social media. For Nye's safety. It really isn't crazy that she would come forward. And don't get me started on y'all with the Black History Month. All right, we know it's Black History Month. Okay, that doesn't absolve people of their come Of their that crimes. That was a lot of the comments. People saying, don't bring this up during Black History Month. She's obviously going after him because it's Black History Month. I don't care if Unk has a bad past because it's Black History Month. Okay, calm down. 
It is simply the month of February. We can all move on. It does not have to be everything. It's not just the month of February, though. It's Black History Month, so. <laughs> but we don't. Black History Month, and I shouldn't be. Yeah, let's not um, gloss over Black History Month like that. But just because it's Black History Month, or what's today? Uh, yeah, we still got some days. Um, just because it's Black History Month doesn't mean that we don't get to hold Black people accountable. That's what I'm saying. Where it, it's never just the month of February, though. But let's keep going. A black man. And this is the same internet that just last week was mad at Nikki, and y'all was talking about Megan's law and doing all of that stuff, and you want Nikki canceled because of something that her husband did when he was 15. So, and he did his time. Satire. Like Alonzo Unk did his time, right? So, should it that should everything should be canceled out, right? And then I bring that up, and people are like, oh, that's not the same thing. You're taking it too far. It is the same thing. It is. So y'all telling me if everybody has a past and everybody should be forgiven, so free R. Kelly, right? Let Tori out of jail. Like, are we the same people who have been researching all? Like, come on, there's no, there's what no we've been there's researching because no I can't say it because YouTube blocked people me. this week. I love watching people wake up to the chronic hypocrisy of the mob of just our general populace and our society. I think you see this is the problem with me being shadow banned so much. This is like one of the like maybe fifth like bigger creators that have like re either reacted to my videos or like came across myself and it's like oh i love seeing people wake up and i'm like do y'all know who i am like this <laughs> not like that but like i like we, we i i've been waiting for more people to start talking about this stuff like with me like are we what is happening what is happening this is what happens when i disappear for four months because youtube wants to make me take tests oh my gosh all right you know you never know how long someone knows something but it's just it's just so funny to hear my name in those conversations like i love to see people waking up it's like i'm literally kicking people down the rabbit hole <laughs> because they do flip-flop literally every week the issue changes the current thing changes what they prioritize what they value changes whatever flag like they can put in the their bio on facebook of a p and it flops every single week. And the more that you're aware of that, number one, you'll realize that the world is kind of insane, but number two, you'll feel less crazy because you are aware of it and you will see that it is ridiculous. And then people keep bringing God into it. I'm seeing so many people saying, oh, God was giving him his blessing and all this. How do y'all know? How do y'all know that God didn't make this story viral? He, he got what he, he got his tea. He got somewhere nice to sleep. He got help with his meds. She did, she did her job. You know, she did what she felt called to, right? How do you know that it didn't go in the news so that now this woman could tell her story? Because she she took it to court, she went, but she clearly is still on her heart. And y'all talking about she's bringing it up now, why she didn't report it before she did. She, they went to court, he went to jail for it. Okay, that's good clarification. I did not see that in the Fox News thing, but apparently they did go to court. Yes. So it actually did happen. Then the people find out, oh, he went to jail. Oh, so he's, he should be cleared, he's fine, he did his time. So let everybody that ever went to jail for doing whatever they Free Galay Maxwell, right? That's what that we're talking about in there. For six minutes. Six whole <laughs> minutes, bro. Black History Month, though. Like, <laughs> oh my God. What, what are we doing? I ask that every day. That was a fantastic TikTok. Like, I just love the stream of consciousness as she is realizing how ridiculous people are, how inconsistent they are. Like, it, seriously, every single day, the priorities change, the values change. Under that video, one girl said 2020 was only four years ago, and the creator said they acting like this was 18 years ago. He literally just got released, and people were pissed at her for making this video. Like, they were so angry that she even dared to say anything like this. Somebody said relating him to R. Kelly is crazy, and the creator responded and said, why? If everybody got a pass, lol, I'm just telling how it sounds. Well, also, he and R. Kelly were both charged after abusing women, so it's not like this is a wild comparison here. If we are just speaking factually, somebody else said, girl, and all of this to say what? I said what I said. She said, I said what I said. She and certainly did. did. If you could not follow that TikTok, <laughs> and you could not understand what she was saying, you are probably part of the problem. Just say. And then on top of people being angry at creators, people on TikTok criticizing Unk and talking about the story, there were so many people online that were then attacking the woman for coming forward about her story, kind of like that TikToker mentioned. One person said, she doesn't remember, but she saw $400,000 and remembered. Oh, okay. She does remember. They went to court. There is a police filing. She literally has photos. 
I think she remembers. Somebody else said she saw that money and wanted in. Somebody else said, why is this coming out now? Another person commented with, she saw he was about to get help and thought that she would receive the same response because why bring it up now other than the money? She didn't even- I literally hate this take. Like I hate it so bad because what do you mean she saw the money and came out now? She came out when it first happened. Y'all wasn't sitting there watching the DC reports to see if a man was assaulting a homeless woman. That's why you didn't know about it. So now was her opportunity to speak about it because now you know who he is. So now you can know who he really is. I don't, I, I really don't understand. Y'all do this too with like women all the time. Every time somebody comes forward, well, how do we know? And how, do, and yes, some people do be lying. Like, all right, we get it. But like a lot of the times it's like, it's happening. Even give her name. Like, yes, she went on camera, but we have no idea who she actually is. It's not like she's posting this on TikTok and then linking her own GoFundMe. Now, obviously I don't know her personally. Maybe she does have nefarious intentions. People can always have bad intentions, but also she could simply be concerned for Sanai's safety and wants to ensure that people have the whole very recent truth about this man, considering that they are donating their hard earned money to this cause. Now, after all of this went down, Nai obviously had to address it and she posted this video in response. Hey, TikTok fam, did y'all miss me? Cause I missed y'all. Actually, I think I know y'all miss me because the comments, the tags, the messages I've been getting because you guys were so concerned. I just feel so good that you guys care about me, love me. I have my own big family now. We, You guys literally are my family. I think most people are caring about Unk, but I also think after the story came out, they then started to care about her, not because they were so excited about all of this, but because they were genuinely concerned for your safety. Because I was. Because a criminal, for a sure. very violent, recent criminal. I do believe that she was being genuine, but now I think she has all this attention. She's like, yay! Like, girl, this man stabbed somebody in the neck with a screwdriver and punched a woman for six minutes. Let's not be so excited. And we're just going to gloss over that, too. Oh, yeah, we know about what happened with Unk, but that's not the Unk that I know. I continue to express my gratitude for supporting me and loving me for who I am and what I'm doing. Now, when it comes to helping people, that has never been nothing new for me because I was taught that growing up to be a giver. So I am definitely aware of, you know, the news that have been circulating. And I felt the need to address this because... First and foremost, I mean, the same time you guys found out about it is the same time I found out about it. And y'all know I'm a cancer. I gotta process everything in my emotions. And you know, to that women and others that have went through something like that, my heart goes out to all of you. I love and I'm praying for you and then I support you. My main goal is to continue to help others and elevate. Circling back to my statement of everything does happen for a reason, this made me reflect and think about my nonprofit that, you know, I was inspired to start because of all of this. This girl made that happen fast. If anybody knows what it feels like to need a second chance, it would be me. No one knows this, but when I apply to you, Let's can't let, let let's gloss over the fact that Unk is an abuser and that we've just spent all this time raising money and show, you know showing him in this light. Let's gloss over that. Let's focus on my nonprofit right now. And I'm not knocking it, girl. I mean, whatever. But like, don't <laughs> the way she just said, I I love and stand with you, the women, and uh, but we're not gonna focus on that. <laughs> UC Berkeley, my senior year of high school, I got denied. You know, it was hard for me. But I took what I learned from that situation and then I ended up getting accepted a year later. They gave me a second chance. <laughs> I can't fault her because obviously she's young, she's genuine, she's trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't fault her either. But are we comparing getting denied um, a college scholarship? Your first chance because after she did, she ended up getting accepted to like 12 different schools. So my thing is... <laughs> Are we comparing not getting into the school of choice the first time around, like on the same level of a man assaulting a woman for six minutes, stabbing another man, um, doing all of these things, and then like deserving a second chance at that, at trying to get into your, your dream school? As, I mean, like if, if we can make these comparisons, why was it so far-fetched for me to compare him to R. Kelly? Like, are we? Okay. Uh, okay. Cause my comments were going crazy. We're, we're, she didn't even get into how my comments really look. Trying to relate, but you have a man that is homeless, that stabbed people in the neck, that went to prison for years, that attacked a woman. <laughs> we're giving him a second chance on the internet apparently. And you're like, I get that. Yeah. I got denied from UC Berkeley, but then they let me in. Girl, <laughs> no, no. I know that she's being genuine. It just cracks me up. Okay. So, you know, the one thing being in college is I like to finish where I started. And whether it's, you know, being in school right now, I'm finishing my degree because I started it. 
And what I also started is wanting to help Alonzo, and I'm going to continue to do so. Now, I understand that everyone has different opinions and perspectives on the situation. So because of that, if you disagree with anything, um, please feel free to request your refund. I mean, I've been seeing refunds being requested, so continue to do so if you wish. Um, I'm just grateful that you wanted to donate. Your heart was at the right place at the right time. But I'm not leaving y'all in the dark anymore. I'm here. I got more content coming. I can't wait for you guys to see my Fashion Week content. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to Unk now. We went from Violent Homeless Man GoFundMe to watch my Fashion Week videos. But anyway, somebody commented and said, Unk did his time. He deserves a second chance, especially dealing with cancer. Another person said, Elegant, handle this beautifully. You'd kill a career in PR. Somebody else said, I did. Yeah, was she would. And I got a kill a career in PR. And moving forward ever since. Now, since this response, she has started posting again with Unk. She is back on her normal content with him. She's helping him meal prep. She's continuing to try to help him find permanent housing, etc. And as all of this was happening, GoFundMe was allegedly with holding the money due to the response online and due to the news that came out, which would not surprise me at all. It would not be the first time that this company has frozen assets for the greater good or whatever. I have my own thoughts on that. I think that it is incredibly wrong. People should be able to donate to whatever, whomever, as they see fit. I don't know if that actually happened. They were trying to figure that out. Their money back if they want to continue to donate if they want. Like, it's your prerogative. But the main point and the main question of the story is whether or not people can be redeemed. Now, obviously, I believe that they can. I hope that this man, Ankh, has changed for the better. He's fighting cancer. He's wanting to go to church. He obviously has found God. He has a community that believes in him now. Literally millions of people following his story online. So maybe he has turned things around. But at the same time, his past was not 30 or 40 years ago. He has been in and out of prison for years. And that most recent attack was caught on camera four years ago. So I guess the question is, is four years long enough for somebody like this to really change? Maybe he was on drugs, maybe he's not anymore. Maybe having cancer woke him up and cleaned him up. I have no idea. However, what I do know is that this young woman is trying to do a good thing. She seems genuine, she's figuring her life out, she wants to help somebody, and for her own safety, I hope that Unk has become a new man. Because if not, this story could take a terrible turn, and she absolutely does not deserve that. So, uh, yeah, that was that. Um, let's actually see if there's any updates on unk um let's go to this hey tiktok fam i miss y'all trust me i didn't forget about y'all i've been seeing y'all comments what's up with unk what's going on updates trust me i'm working like literally behind the scenes or this camera i'm working on it but before i record and put stuff out there i want to make sure i'm giving you guys results and i'm delivering what i promise but please keep in mind i am in college i got a personal life as well Okay. TikTok fan, it's currently one in the morning and I couldn't wait any longer to tell y'all this. The biggest and most important thing to me right now is being transparent with you guys through this process because I treat us as a family, literally. So everything I'm aware of, you need to be aware of too. So I feel as though you guys need to be aware of what's currently happening. I know a lot of y'all have been impatient. I didn't see my follower count go down y'all are waiting and i know a lot of y'all like well damn why has nothing been happening why haven't been seeing updates on unk like what's going on trust me just as much as i want to update y'all i literally cannot what am i going to update on the way i had envisioned this it's been weeks since this has happened this happened january 31st it is now the 24th no progress has been made and that's because of gofundme and i'm getting like so frustrated. they are holding the money and without very holding it i guess the way i envisioned this to pan out was that by now he would be in housing he would get medical care he will be set up and i can continue to do my studies and continue to be sanai but literally when y'all thinking i'm not doing nothing literally behind this phone, you did your job the scenes i'm literally fighting for this a lot of y'all commented and said the fact that GoFundMe is holding the funds and you're the main organizer and you're the person that's responsible for everything why are they not releasing the funds to you? They're not even following their terms and conditions. Now, when it came to setting up a GoFundMe, I didn't know nothing about that. When I set up the GoFundMe, I edited that video I made. I came home and I said, no, I want to set up a GoFundMe. Never did it before. When I signed up, I signed up my name. And the question was, who is it for yourself or someone else? I put myself. Do you know why? I didn't know that. I didn't know Alonzo's last name. I didn't. He don't got no ID. How am I going to put his information in and not even know it? So it was all my information. So technically, I should be responsible. Now we're focusing on the highlighted part of their terms and conditions when it says all donations contributed to your fundraiser will be... Okay, so long story short, um, 
they're not releasing the funds to her right now. Somebody in the comments said, devil busy. Maybe, maybe, because y'all keep talk, blaming things on devil and God. How about God, she did her job. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. She gave him somewhere nice to sleep, gave him a hot meal, some tea, a bunch of stuff that he wasn't going to get his medication. She gave him, she did a lot for him. So how do y'all know that she, did, she didn't do her job? Like, that's literally what she was supposed to do. Like, what, what else do, like, do y'all really want? And I understand the people who spent their money, but y'all also have to understand now this is probably turning into a bigger investment investigation of why this man escaped the halfway house that he was in and all these different things like listen i want to i actually want to see what my are y'all okay comments say and before i really your limited <laughs> your limited critical thinking creates the very public safety breach you're barking about this person right here is literally nuts i never said anything about leaving this man destitute or homeless in my video like i didn't say any of that i didn't even say what i feel like should be done with the money or with anything i was just simply stating the facts of the situation and why it's not so different from everything else that we've been talking about but then i have to realize that these videos leave my audience so these aren't like the besties these aren't people that have brains and that know about what's going on with Ghislaine maxwell and epstein outside of you know the media which they don't really even tell much of so how could i expect them <laughs> to know what we're talking about yeah some of these comments are like not i probably shouldn't even have up here honestly let's just exit that out so as you can see if i'm ever not active on youtube i'm probably active on tiktok and other places so yeah <sighs> This video was longer than I expected, but yeah, I'm happy to be back. We are back. This is gonna keep rolling. The content is not gonna stop here. And I know I take a lot of breaks, but like never four months long, you guys. Like, please, I, that was not a break. That was forced, so yeah. But I love you guys. I'm not sure when the next video will be uploaded. I'm hoping that this one uploads right away. So yeah, but it will be soon. And I will not, you guys will not have to wait <laughs> long again. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon if that's your type of thing. You can also um, join for free if you um, maybe want to like join later when you have it or if there's something that I upload that you're interested in and you just want to pay for that, then you know, that's just what's going on over at Patreon. Um, follow me on Twitch um, and make sure you turn on your notifications so you get a notification when I go live and you do not miss any of our live streams yeah I think that's all I really <laughs> I'm telling you guys today was so like the first day back at school like you know <laughs> and um if you watch this far and you're not subscribed to this channel what are you doing like please um subscribe right now thank you <laughs> so yeah I love you guys I will see you in the next video oh I got a new mac um pc so I didn't know that that was gonna happen <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> okay. Oh, what you got for me, bro? Oh, we got guns. Okay. We got we got ammo. Oh shit, we got people. Why do you have a knife? Why do you have a knife? Why do you have you're a zombie? You're a zombie. Back back who's behind me? Where'd you come from? Okay, no, alright, we just started. Like we just got here. Stop touching me. What? Are you laugh? Don't laugh at me. <laughs> me the health bar, but then they not telling me about what I'm eating. Like I'm just I just collected all that food for nothing. Oh, should I like jump down here? Oh. I... What would they even have this here for, though? Really? <gasps> that's why. 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 Where's your dog? Where's your stupid dog? I'm gonna sip this cup.